up. So ideally your feet go all the way back to the shoulder rest as much as possible and then you send your hips over your feet. You're going to round your back. Now I feel like this is a big, uh, a little bit too much of a stretch for me. So I like to bring my feet forward just a little bit so that, and I'm tall too, so I think these reformers are a little bit bigger than the traditional reformers were. So, or I could bring my foot bar up to the higher shelf. So from here, I round my back, I draw my belly into my spine. I'm really exaggerating that Pilates scoop. My weight is in my heels. I'm able to lift my toes. By lifting my toes, I definitely know that my weight is in my heels. So I'm gonna inhale, open, and then exhale, draw it right back in. It's really fast, so it's open, close open, close. Now the breath matches the movement, so it's So I'm trying to have the work happen from the deepest tummy muscles I have, not my legs. So my legs are just going along for the ride. I inhale, open, and then exhale. I draw the belly to my spine to draw my, toe, or draw my heels under. I inhale, open, the exhale, the tummy draws it under. I can't talk as I do it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop talking and I'm just going to have you listen to my breath and watch the movement. So my weight is over my heels, my back is rounded, my head is down. I So I'm keeping my weight in my heels. The movement is happening from those deep transverse abdominal muscles. My legs, they're just going along for the ride. So it is a deep tummy muscle. I almost feel like those muscles could cramp. Does that make sense? So it's all right here. If you see their toes touching when they open, then they've gone too far. It's also, if you have tight hamstring, it's a nice stretch for the backs of your legs. But my hamstrings aren't that tight anymore, so I don't feel that as much as I used to. The loosest hamstrings either. All right, so you're gonna bring your hands onto your foot bar right here. Good, so now I want you to shift your weight back so your heels, or so your butt is over your heels. So you maybe walk forward just a hair so that you can shift back like that. Now lift your toes so all of your weight is in your heels. Now I want you to round your back, draw your belly to um, my hand. If you had a tattoo, a tramp stamp, it would be reaching up to the ceiling and it's gonna be lifted the entire time. Now just open just a hair and then exhale, just pull it back in just a hair. So you're only moving just a little bit. Inhale, open, press into the heels as you come back in. Now, just move from that tummy. Inhale, open, exhale, close. So it's fast. <sighs> open, <sighs> close. Open, close. So that tummy right here, the exhale is drawing the toes under. Exhale, draw the toes under. Exaggerate that scoop as you draw it. Speed it up just a little bit. So it's open, close, open, close, open, close. Good, nice job, that's good. So we could also, when people have tight hamstrings, you can also bring the foot bar up a little bit too. Let's see if you like that better. So your hips are gonna come over your heels. You're gonna draw your belly into my hand. Maintain that rounded spine. Inhale, open. Exhale, abdominals, draw it in. Good, inhale, open. Don't let it hit. Yeah, so your, your tummy has to control the carriage, not letting it hip, or let it hit. Good, do you like the, hand, the foot bar a little higher? Good, can you feel that in your tummy? Yeah, I feel it really low. Yeah, so when I was pregnant, my, I carried my babies high, and I was able to maintain, to do this in my pregnancy because it was, it was not affecting the transverse, or it was not, not the transverse, it was not affecting the rectus abdominal yeah, I muscles. Yeah, I don't feel it at all. Yeah, yeah.